In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to treat a reptile wound. I'm gonna show you what equipment I use and I'm gonna do it on a real life example. I do have an animal that needs some help with a wound. So let's go grab the animal. So this girl right here is a leopard gecko that we have taken on. And her problem is that she has had terrible stuck shed on her toes. And eventually she has lost her toes. Whether she came from a rack system or something like that, but she hasn't had the best start in life. And she's missing the majority of her claws on her feet, which means she has horrific stuck shed on these toes. Oh, sorry, love. On this back left foot here, you might be able to see that she's got some stuck shed around this toe here. It's clearly had some issues with shedding and her previous owner or breeder or whatever, wholesaler didn't treat it. And it's built up to a, a problem that now is pretty hard to rectify, right? So she's got some necrosis on the end of that toe and each time a layer can't get past it, it's gonna have to like drop off because it's already necrotic. So for this example, we're just treating and keeping this toe very clean. So I'm gonna pop you down here, love. So what we're gonna do to help keep this toe nice and clean and try and aid in making sure that we don't get a bacterial infection is we're gonna use something like Lucillin. Now this is a topical antimicrobial, antibacterial, antiviral, where are you going, antifungal spray. This spray is 300 times more effective at killing germs than bleach, but it's also totally animal safe, doesn't sting, doesn't hurt, there's no itching. It's basically made from the secretions of white blood cells. That's called hypochlorous acid. Now this hypochlorous acid is totally natural and totally safe. So what I'm gonna do is contain this girl in a tub and we're gonna apply some of this. So as you can see here, back here, she's got that dodgy toe. I'm simply gonna take the Lucillin and put the nozzle right down by the exact toe that I want to spray and spray and that's it. That's all I need to do to make sure that that toe stays really clean. And even if she turns around and licks it, all that's gonna happen is it's gonna taste a bit funny and it's gonna be completely safe. But let's say, apart from disinfecting it, what I want to do is hydrate some of these pieces of sheds and hopefully try to hydrate it so it sloughs off nice and easy. Well, the next thing that I'm gonna try is something called Ocry gel. Now, Ocry gel is basically a eye drop used for dogs and other animals and horses and things like that. But it has a really nice gel-like consistency. It's really good at staying there and hydrating an animal. So all I'm gonna do is squeeze some over some of these offending toes. So I take my little thing here and I just gently squeeze some gel on the toe. Non-offensive non-stressful, it might be a little bit cold when I apply it, but that's literally it. Again, this can be digested, so if she turns around and starts licking it, it's no problem. Again, this toe here, squirt some on it. Let's hydrate some of that, and maybe we can hydrate and help some of that just come off nicely. Let's say, as a hypothetical, I have a wound right here, this big gash on my hand. So here I am, there's my wound right there on my hand. So I've got a big wound right here. Now, there's no point me doing this on an animal when I can just do it on myself and not just stress an animal out by taking it out of its enclosure. So let's do it here. Let's say I have a burn here. What I would do is first we need to clean the wound and flush it out. So what we're going to use is saline solution. The saline solution comes in these little tabs. And I, I just twist the tab to open it up. And there we go. I've got my saline solution. And what I'm going to do is flush the wound out. And I'm going to squeeze and use the pressure to clear away all the debris in that wound site. So this wound site is now nice and flushed out. What I can do again is take our Lucillin and I can spray that on my wound site. Now, if the wound site isn't typically too bad and we actually want the wound site to dry out and scab over nicely, and then after this point, we're keeping the animal in a nice sanitized environment, maybe on paper towels and things like that. And I'm actually gonna be using this maybe once a day, maybe twice a day, just to keep the area sanitized, but still allowing it to dry out over the majority of the day and 
stop. Again, this isn't to say that you should be doing this instead of going to a vet. If a wound is minor enough, you can definitely clean it itself and keep it clean, tidy and healthy. And if you want to go to a vet, definitely this is the first aid before you go to the vet. If it's something more serious, don't go DIY vet style. If you know it's serious, go to a vet. Or let's say this is something like a minor burn just on the back of an animal that maybe you've had a mishap with a bulb and you've messed up, right? Okay, so even if I am gonna go to the vet, what can I do as first aid in the meantime? How do we stabilize the situation before we get our appointment with the vet? So let's say that this wound again is a burn and it's not just a cut. So I would do exactly what we did before. I would flush the wound, I would use Lucillin to clean it out and just disinfect it. But let's say, rather than let it dry out, like you want something to scab over, let's say something like a burn, the typical thing we want to do nowadays is actually to keep a burn moist and wet so that it heals much more efficiently. So instead of just, do, just doing that and leaving it that and letting it dry out in between, we want to create a barrier here we want to create a barrier on this burn so that it doesn't dry out. This is where something like F10 ointment comes into play. So it's just the same texture as petroleum jelly, but it's F10, the disinfectant. I'm gonna take some of this. Again, it's like petroleum jelly, just like that. And I would apply that very gently over my wound site. There you go, my ink is smudging, but you get the point. So then we've got a nice, healthy, liberal amount, keeping our burn site nice and moist. And if you don't know, a few months ago, back in October, I was actually set on fire. My barber set the side of my head on fire. There's a whole story of that in another video. But the point being, Lucillin aided in my recovery from that incredibly fast. So the doctor said that I wouldn't really be back to normal within like 30 days. Whilst well, I was applying things like Lucillin, I was back to normal within 10 days. You can see this from these progress pictures, that things progressed incredibly fast. This stuff is affordable. It's like the super spray that I'm using for all my first aid stuff now on me, my reptiles, to disinfect enclosures, because it also does disinfecting of enclosures as well, better than any of the disinfectants that I currently were previously using. You can find it linked down below as an Amazon link in my description and as a pinned comment. I hope this helps you with some mishaps with your animals, because it does happen Try not to beat yourself up. It does happen to everyone. And if people try to say that it doesn't, that an animal injury or a mistake never happens in animal care, they're just lying. Get yourself the good stuff. Hope this helps you. I'll keep you updated on how this leopard gecko proceeds and I'll see you in the next video.